Hey guys, welcome back to Swift Goose. Today I wanted to show you some of the sample code that Apple has released during WWDC 22. And basically it's a room capture app or sample app that they built using the room plan API. And essentially this will use the LiDAR scanner and your camera, uh, if you have the LiDAR available, to start capturing your room, kind of like the object capture API that they released last year during WWDC. So you'll see that it highlights pretty much your desks, it'll highlight the walls, and also the windows too. You'll see that I'm struggling a little bit here to grab these two windows, so sometimes I think if there's things in front of it, it struggles a bit. But overall, it does a pretty good job at capturing doorways and the overall room and everything that might be in the room. Also, sorry for the messy room, I'm in the process of moving. But you'll see it does export a USDZ file, like you see here, and an overall sample capture of the room. Apple has released this sample code of creating a 3D model of your interior room and is available for iOS 16 beta and Xcode 14 beta and you can use it on your iPad as well. So basically just download the Xcode project and then you just open it up in your Xcode 14 beta. I changed the team to my team here. I'm getting some errors but that's okay. And you'll notice that they have the room capture view controller. This is where all the heavy lifting is done. And all you gotta do is come up and change this target to your iPhone and build it there. Then you'll have the app on your phone and you can use it however you want. And here is the resulting USDZ file that was created by the app and imported into Xcode on my Mac. This is the room that we started the scanning from, went through the hallway, a little bit of the bathroom there, and then here's the office. I actually ended up doing the entire apartment, so let me show you what that looks like. Hallway, bathroom, office, kitchen, living room, and dining room. You can go in pretty far into these and just take a peek around. I think what's pretty cool about this is that all of these structures are individual. So you can take them and move walls around if you want, or delete an entire wall, move some objects, as you see fit. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new, and it'd be cool to see what you guys might come up with using this app as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day.